Well, the new dean of students at New College in Sarasota is coming under fire for making jokes about rape and minors who expose themselves to each other. According to the Sarasota Herald Tribune, David Rancourt, a former lobbyist and now dean of students at New College, participated in what appeared to be a New College-sanctioned group comedy class at McCurdy's Comedy Theater. In his seven-minute segment uploaded to YouTube, he joked about same-sex rape and seven-year-old male and female children exposing their genitals to each other. Here is part of his routine, and we warn you that it is graphic. I went home one night and I said, Mama, isn't there something that I have that Susie can't have, doesn't have? My, my mom, I'm seven. Mom's trying to make me feel good, you know? That's what moms do. She said, well, David, there is something you have that she doesn't have. I said, what's that? She said, you look down between your legs that's called a penis. When asked for comment about the Dean of Students' actions, a New College spokesman said this, cancel culture is over at New College. Comedy is a work of art, one that is reliant on our society's tenets of free speech and free expression. New College President Richard Corcoran also participated in the comedy event, performing immediately after Rancourt. So the jokes talked about seven-year-olds exposing themselves to each other, David, and then uh, there, there were jokes about rape. And I'm wondering, if I'm a conservative parent up north and the governor and, and President Corcoran are trying to steer a more conservative direction for New College, and I see this on YouTube, am I more likely to send my kid to a college that allows this, where the dean of students makes these kind of jokes? I. A parent with integrity would not. And I, there's been a lot of conversation around David Rancourt even being appointed to this position. He doesn't have experience in higher education. He's not qualified, from my perspective, for this job. Uh, there are people who debate on the other side and say he is qualified. But if the qualification is, do you have integrity? Do you have the kind of moral upstanding that you proclaim in public as a conservative? Uh, and then you make jokes that are uh, that are homophobic, that are about rape, that are about child sexuality, and even worse, the, a joke about um, a racist joke about indigenous Amazonians. Like all of these things indicate someone who doesn't have a kind of moral compass of care towards students, and that is a primary qualification for a dean of students. And, and uh, Alex and Wendy, you, you've been up in Tallahassee. You know Rancourt uh, in his history. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about who this new dean of students is. Well, uh, when I was the chief financial officer, David Rancourt was one of the top lobbyists, very respected top lobbyist, a Republican operative close to uh, Jeb Bush. Um, and to think that, fast forward, he is named by his buddy, Richard Corcoran, to the job of Dean of Students of one of our state universities for a big six-figure income. He is unqualified to be Dean of Students, and as to the subject of comedy and cancel culture, rape is no joking matter. Well, that, that, that's how New College is defending it. They're saying the cancel culture no longer exists here at New College. This is a new era. It's a, Wendy, what's your take? Well, like Alex said, both David Rancourt and Richard Corcoran started their careers out as Republican political operatives. Their, their training, their schooling, their orientation is to do political battle with Democrats. This particular thing uh, is so sort of out there that this particular comedy routine is so out there that what it looks to me like is a deliberate challenge, a gauntlet thrown down in the face of the liberal new college professors and students who've been there heretofore. Um, but I think one of the main things that's being overlooked in, in all of the controversy over new college is that new college is and has long been Florida's foremost STEM school. Its biggest, most popular, and best majors are in mathematics and the physical sciences. It's a major feeder for medical schools, for graduate programs in physics, biology, and chemistry, and mathematics. And supposedly, STEM education is what we want, but this is the college that uh, Governor DeSantis is trying to revamp and, in effect, wipe out. You know, Danny, I'm surprised President Corcoran went to Pat Robertson's law school, the televangelist law school. You, you'd figure that everything he does would be associated with some sort of family values. So I just wonder, what's your take on, if, if you're a conservative parent up there in New York or, you know, Boston or, 
you know, you're up there in North Carolina, you want to send your child to a conservative college, do you choose New College after you watch this video? Well, certainly, and you're going to look to Florida. We're a red state. You know, we are a free state. And then you have this. If I was a president, he would be fired. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Unfortunately, apparently the president participated afterwards, so I don't think that's going to happen. Number two, he's a very poor comedian. The jokes were awful, number one. Yes, terrible jokes, but then throw in the fact they were just awful. You want to be a comedian, you go out, you go to stand up live, you go to do shows, you know, get rid of your job, go to Vegas and do your, your, your stand up. Not in front of these kids, not, not, and do not represent the state of Florida. That's the problem.